Um, so let's go to my favorite plugin. Uh, not this one. This is not my favorite. My favorite is 3x oscillator, as you might already knew. Uh, okay, so one thing that I that might help to show it's bringing up Wave Candy. So let's go to Wave Candy, and uh, let's see. Maybe I can have an oscillator. Let's see. No. Where, where do I have? Yeah, maybe oscillator will be enough. Uh, okay, let's bring just a, a sine wave. Um, okay, this one, this one here is a good example. Let me lower the volume so that you don't have to listen to annoying sine waves. So. Uh, as you can see here, we have a sine wave, and basically this really exemplifies the, what is a sine wave. But if I play this, you see that the sine wave is a pure wave. It's kind of like going up and down, and um, it's very, very clean. There's no, no, uh, not too many harmonics to it. So, uh, by the way, let me bring up another wave candy, which could be helpful to show you how much harmonics we get when we uh, have these type of tracks. So let's go with the spectrum analyzer. Uh, let's take this out. Let's bring the spectrum here, like so. Where is it? Here and here. As you can see, whenever I play a sine wave, we only have like a really simple wave here. And you can also see there as you can see, it's just a sine, a simple sine wave. If I change, for instance, to a triangle wave, so we have sine waves, triangle waves, um, saw to saw wave, square wave. This kind of here, I don't know what to call it to be honest, but uh, these ones here are the most the the four basic waves that we can have in an oscillator. So we have the sine wave. Then, if we go to the triangle wave you can now see that this is very uh, sharp. So it's not as rounded as the sine wave. And you can see that we have way more harmonics than the, the sine wave. Uh, the triangle wave provides us with more information on the rest of the, um, the frequency spectrum. And that's why it sounds a, it sounds a little bit more like a buzzing. So it's not as clear as a sine wave as you can see here and if we go to here if you look at this part here you see that we have several harmonics and uh, an harmonic is basically a repetition of the same uh, uh, frequency but with uh, uh, a repetition of the signal in different frequencies with different amplitudes so let's go now for instance to the uh, triangle wave and as you can see, let me go lower. We have way, way more harmonics than the triangle wave. And you can see that we have, it, it looks like a, a saw from uh, uh, those those uh, tools, I think. That's the, the way to put it. But yeah, so uh, as you can see, this one gives us a little bit more, way more harmonics than the triangle wave and way, way more harmonics than the sine wave. So whenever you want a more pure sound, or a, not pure, but a more clean sound, you might go for a sine wave. If you want a very jagged and hard sound, you might go for a triangle wave. And if you want something in between, not so aggressive, but not so clean, you might go for a triangle wave. Then we have a square wave. A square wave basically is just a combination or a multiplication, let's say, of multiple sine waves. So to get to get a square wave, you just multiply a bunch of um, sine waves with different frequencies and different. Uh, uh, I think it's the same amplitude, and you will get a square wave. And as you can see, this is the one, this one gives us different harmonics, a different harmonic footprint compared, for instance, with the triangle wave. We can still see that we have a bunch of 
um, harmonics here in the higher frequencies but this one gives us a different a different uh, footprint or a different sound in terms of harmonics but it also has a bunch of harmonics and a bunch of um, uh, buzziness to it then we have this one here which is a mix of um, a square with maybe a starting of a, a sign yeah i don't know what what to call this one here to be honest but uh, I would I would say this is a square with a different duty cycle uh, compared to this one. As you can see, this one is like 50% on, 50% above, 50% down. Let me see if I can find one that would stay put here. I would like to have this but not moving that's why i'm looking for something no uh, doesn't matter as you can see i am sorry if this is very annoying the sound but um yeah so this is the 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 four most common type of waves that we have we might have different sounds or different waves in um in different synths but those are the basic ones and then we also have white noise and basically white noise is just all the frequencies combined uh, playing at the same um, uh, at the same volume and uh, this is the the sound that we get this type of uh, not clear uh, not pers without the tone there's no tone for white noise it's just noise and uh, yeah i think that's it for this question as you can see we have four different types of um, basic shapes and of course when we start combining all these shapes we get different shapes and different sounds and um, and you can get some really cool sounds from from uh, sound design with some oscillator uh, waves but these are the basic four or the basic five maybe and uh, these are the basic and this with this you can go a really long way when you want to sound design your tracks